If you've traveled abroad recently, you know this. PCR tests are not cheap. In fact, they can cost you anywhere from $150 to $300. CTV News is learning the feds are now planning on dropping that requirement. Fully vaccinated travelers returning to Canada after short trips can ditch the PCR tests. The details are scarce. It's not yet known when the change will come into effect, but sources telling CTV travelers who are coming back into the country within 72 hours of their departure will no longer need to show proof of that negative COVID-19 test. Let's get reaction tonight from Beth Potter, president and CEO of the Tourism Association Industry of Canada, who's also co-chair of the Canadian Travel and Tourism Roundtable. Nikita Jankowski with Destiny USA and Robert Restaino, mayor of Niagara Falls, New York. Thank you all for being with us. Beth, we know a lot of people have been saying these PCR tests, they're inconvenient. They're also pretty pricey. Uh, and, and now we're learning the feds may be relaxing the rules here only for short trips, though. Is that enough? We'll start with getting your thoughts. So it's a great first, another great first step. It's not enough, though. Um, you know, Canadian tourism businesses you know, count on their American uh, friends to come across the border and participate in our uh, attractions, our events, our great Canadian experiences. And so uh, while the Americans still have to do a PCR test to come into Canada, that is still a challenge for our industry here Nikita, we've spoken in the past before, uh, especially, you know, given the, the lack of absence of Canadian shoppers at Destiny USA uh, malls. And I'm guessing this would be a, a bit of a game changer, considering the fact that a lot of Canadians are frankly reluctant to take their families across the border, whether it's for a day, two days, simply because it could cost them maybe upwards of $1,000 just to get those PCR tests to come back to Canada. So what's your reaction to this announcement and uh, what kind of an impact would this make at, at your property? So as Beth just mentioned, yes, it is definitely a start. And we are ecstatic about this because we're moving in the right direction. We've been receiving several messages from Canadians asking about the testing and if we know any different locations where they can get testing done. So it's been the top priority for us to provide that information. So it takes a little bit of a little bit of weight off of our shoulders and as far as our Canadian guests coming down as well. So this is a big lift and so it's definitely a step in the right direction for everyone. Okay, that's good to hear. Mayor Restaino, uh, we know border communities have been struggling to bounce back from the pandemic. How badly did you need this? Well, this is great news in terms of, um, especially with the holidays coming and the ability for um, people to come here and enjoy our retail and restaurants. The one thing that is disappointing um, and this is on a personal level. I mean, I have family um, in Canada. And so for me, um, I still have to deal with this difficult uh, testing requirement. So I'm hoping that um, ultimately we get to a place where none of us have to deal with that on entering into Canada. Uh, but I'm optimistic. I'm, I, as Beth and Nikita have both said, this is great news uh, from a retail perspective, from a local economy perspective, especially with the holiday season coming um, we're excited by this. Beth, Canada has been taking a, a very cautious approach uh, when it comes to restrictions, when it comes to lockdowns. And for some people who are hearing that we're going to do away with these PCR tests that would, you know, most likely identify an infection, what do you say to those people who think, I, I kind of want that still in place because I, I just don't want to see all these people coming back from the U.S. who could potentially be infected? What message would you tell them? Well, first of all, let's remember that the expert advisory panel, um, you know, made up of scientists, uh, released a report last spring that said that fully vaccinated travelers should not have to do a PCR test uh, when when traveling. Um, that it and and what we have seen as far as results are concerned is that it's really showing a very minuscule amount of positive test results coming back in. Now, we're not suggesting that we take away random testing um, or spot testing on arrival into Canada, you know, that, that would be absolutely appropriate, especially if somebody was traveling from an area that, um, and, you know, had a higher case count. But fully vaccinated travelers should not have to undergo uh, the PCR test. And we're really hoping that as we you know get through the processes and smooth you know the the edges on on these policies that we'll see a level playing field for um, tourism businesses and travelers on both sides of the border 
Nikita, the U.S. land border opened to Canadians about a week ago. What have you found so far? Are Canadians going out there to shop, heading to the U.S.? So we are seeing some Canadian traffic. There has been an uptick, according to many of our, our, our tenants, that there are some Canadian shoppers that are back in town. And, you know, typically before the pandemic hit, uh, Canadians made up about 22 percent of our shoppers. So it's definitely great to see that they are making their way here, but it's not where it was before. So this change could definitely be a game changer for us. Robert, Niagara Falls is such a, a close destination for so many people here in Toronto who want to take a crip, uh, trip across the border. Uh, and But uh, for many people, they've just been reluctant to because of these ongoing restrictions, uh, the test that are required. Uh, what kind of impact do you think that this is going to make uh, now that these restrictions will be lifted uh, for you in your city? Well, I know that we have, since the border had been opened, we've seen an uptick in uh, many of our Canadian friends coming here. This certainly will broaden that, and we're looking forward to that. I think that um, the ability to, uh, to attract um, some of that business back again it's really important for so many of our small businesses and our retailers. So I think it's going to be a, a, a great opportunity. And again, as I said earlier, you know, with the holiday season coming, uh, this is a great time for our local retails. Uh, Beth, all eyes on tomorrow. We know the leaders of Canada, Mexico and the U.S. are meeting for the Three Amigos Summit in Washington. Uh, what will you be watching for? Uh, and are you hoping that they further relax travel rules? We, we are um, absolutely hoping for that. And so we will be watching to see what comes out of these conversations tomorrow. Uh, we're already starting to hear that uh, Prime Minister Trudeau is talking about, you know, lifting the requirements for Americans in a subsequent phase. Um, but, you know, we don't know the timeline on that yet. So we are hoping to hear more details on that in an announcement on Friday. Um, in the meantime, uh, we really, you know, I'm very, very happy for our American and counterparts to see more Canadians going across the border. We'd really like to uh, to welcome them back across the border to uh, here in Canada. So uh, really hoping that we see a movement on this in the coming days. And Nikita, you know, if there's one thing that Canadians love is they love doing their cross-border shopping. And specifically, it's because you guys offer a lot of deals in the U.S. that you just simply can't get in Canada. So uh, for, for any of our viewers that are watching right now, they might not be familiar with Destiny USA properties and, and malls. And uh, you can give us a sense of uh, what it's like, because it's, it's really, it encompasses everything from shopping to entertainment uh, to food. Tell us about it. Right, yes, as Destiny USA is the largest shopping, dining, and entertainment destination in New York State, uh, we are offering a lot of great deals and incentives for our Canadian neighbors to the north. Um, we have our hotel on property, the Embassy Suites by Hilton at Destiny USA, offering 20% off for, to all Canadian guests. We have the, the um, I Love New York Welcome Center right there at Destiny USA that's offering 10% off of all of uh, the I Love New York logo gear because that's a really popular item with, with a lot of our Canadian guests. We also have a whole list on our website dedicated to our Canadian guests, what you can expect. It has testing sites as well. It also has the different discounts and just a lot of information that, you know, and also what's new because we have a lot of new uh, stores that have opened, a lot of new opportunities for, for them to shop, dine, play, and stay at Destiny USA. Now, Jamie was just talking about the shopping and the deals. Mayor, I'm hoping you can answer this. I want to talk about the timing of this move because the holidays are right around the corner. Uh, how do you think this will impact businesses at this time of year when, you know, business is, is the holidays are so important for business? I think that this will allow many of our local businesses to recapture some of that lost opportunity that they've been suffering with for quite some time now. Um, I think Nikita's right. There's an awful lot of opportunity uh, for us to really draw in more of our Canadian friends. And they really drive uh, the local economies during these, say, off-peak season times, uh, especially in a community like Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, New York, and Niagara Falls, Ontario, it's really one community separated by the river. And so there's so much of the uh, cross-border uh, economy that really, really uh, clicks for both sides. So I'm, I'm looking forward uh, perhaps just some additional uh, lifting of these restrictions, uh, at least with regard to, to Americans entering into, the, into Canada. But we certainly are so happy uh, that they're going to lessen some of the burden uh, for our Canadian friends. Okay. Beth Potter, Nikita Jankowski, and Mayor Robert Restaino, thank you all for your time and your perspective tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.